All right, what is up? I just thought I'd quickly make this video right now to explain to you what overcoming stuttering actually means. And this is coming from somebody who has been severely stuttering on and off. So it wasn't a constant severe stutter, but it would come on and off for weeks, It'd go for, for days, sometimes weeks, come back on for months things like that all right it wasn't fun it sucked and i always heard in stuttering groups on google on youtube that you can't overcome your stutter and i say you can't because i am me now i've made drastic changes in my speech i made drastic changes in my confidence in my self-esteem in my self-worth in my congruence with being my authentic self and you 100% can overcome your stutter. You can speak more fluently in other situations, in bars. You can be the charming, elo eloquent, smooth person, fluent person, even, even if you want, depending on how much work you put in, um, you can overcome your stutter. And I'm gonna explain to you what I mean by overcome your stutter and it's not 100% fluency you probably know that no one in this world is 100% fluent I'm not 100% fluent Bob who has never had a stutter in his life who has worked at the movies why well, I say Bob he is never gonna be fluent he's gonna make mistakes he's gonna slur his words he's going to trip over his words no one's going to be 100 percent fluent so striving for that is stupid it's silly it's irrational and it's only going to make you feel stuck and it'll always always make you say i haven't overcome my stutter i'm not a winner anymore i was never a winner um, before i explain to you what i say overcoming my stutter is so i can say i'm a person who has overcome their stutter right now um, and give me that kind of that power and give me that kind of that yeah I, I beat something I won something and that ultimately fuels me that ultimately gives me power and charisma and confidence um, I'll explain to you my definition definition of it and show you how I, I did it so you can do so as well before I do that quick introduction if you've never seen me my name is Chase Gillis. I help people overcome their stutter the same way I did, which wasn't with speech techniques. I'm not using any speech techniques right now. No ear devices, no fluency tricks, no gimmicks, like legitimately addressing the real root issues, the self, the self esteem, the conf, the confidence, the self, the self worth, why we're connecting our our ability to show up to this world with our level of severity of stuttering, why it's like that, how to disconnect that so your stutter is just is just there and you're over here doing whatever the fuck you want to do. How I've done that, I help people overcome their stutter and that is what overcoming stuttering is. In my definition, let's dive into that a bit more. All right, so overcoming stuttering is not 100% fluency. In the broadest sense, Overcoming stuttering means being able to express yourself authentically wherever you are. That is overcoming your stutter. Your, overcoming your stutter is not a level of fluency. It's a level of doing whatever the fuck you want to do, regardless of the amount of repression you have in your body, Regar regardless of how much you want to hold back, regardless of the amount of tension and the voices and the doubts inside your brain telling you not to speak. Once you have made congruence with a version of yourself that takes action regardless or irregardless of the way he or she feels, you have built a stronger congruence with I take action when I want because it's just what I want to do not because, oh, I was going to stutter. Once that version of you is stronger than this version of you, 
and you don't give in to this fear and you don't you're not constantly thinking about your stutter it's not on your mind you're not anticipating you're not living in fear and doubt you have overcome your stutter overcoming your stutter my life now feels like i've never even had a stutter in my entire life the thought of stuttering has not popped up in my head of trying to avoid it or think about it or how am i going to be perceived by these other people has not popped up in years and if i go back five years ago i would have thought i'm 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 high right now i, I would have thought there's no way chase there's no way that's possible because my life was consumed by my fucking thoughts of stuttering, of trying to avoid it, of what are they gonna think? Are they gonna think I'm stupid? I'm, I'm gonna look so stupid. I'm just not gonna go to that party. Like I was so consumed by that and the isolation it put me in. Overcoming my stutter now is, I'm not thinking about it at all, all right? At all, I'm not thinking about it. Thus, I'm not being controlled by it. I'm in my head, there is no filter of there's no filter of fear to stutter and then taking the action if that makes sense the filter is do i want to do this yes okay i'll i'll do it it's not do i want to do this oh but i'll stutter i wonder how i'll be judged and how, i wonder what this is going to make me look like ah uh, yeah i'll do it i guess like there's none of that and my actions aren't being filtered through fear anymore it's not being filtered by the way I want people to judge me or, per or, per or perceive me. It's authentic. It's how I truly am. It's like I never had a stutter, but it is like I had a stutter because I fucking love my stutter. And I know that may sound crazy if you're in the heat of trying to overcome your stutter and you hate it. But the truth is I fucking love my stutter. And I don't believe you have to love your stutter to say you've overcome it. You just can't be controlled by it anymore it can't be a constant thought in your brain and when people say you can't overcome your stutter yes you fucking can you i agree you can't be 100 percent fluent all the time but you can upgrade your fluency a thousand fucking times so you're just natural and you're effortless every once in a while i will blip every once in a while i will stutter but it doesn't fucking matter to me because it doesn't control me because i'm still living in line with my values and because I get fueled, my self-worth, my self-esteem, my confidence comes from my ability to take action because I want to do it. I'm judging myself on the actions that I'm taking, not any outcomes like I stuttered or not. I'm judging my self-worth. I'm fueling my, my ability to show up to this world because of the actions I'm taking, not my stutter. And that is overcoming your stutter. And that's what makes the constant thinking and anticipation leave your mind. <laughs> so this video is dedicated to the younger version of me that felt extremely scared and helpless when I would constantly see posts everywhere. You just accept your stutter. Just accept it. You can't change it. It's always going to be there. To some level, that's fucking true. But to a, a big thing you don't talk about is you can fucking change it. You can change it. You can change your confidence. You can change your self-worth. You can change your life, your life situation. You can get better at socializing. You can get better with women. You can get better with making friends. You can get better at networking. You can get better at everything even if you stutter. Your stutter does not hold you back, you hold you back. And that's why my process to help people overcome their stutter is, isn't by focusing on the stutter, but how are you holding yourself back in the most foundational sense? Not, not with your speech, but with the thoughts in your brain, with why you're feeling unsafe and tense around authority figures or people you view highly and why are you giving so much value to other people's judgments of you? Why are you overvaluing their judgments of you? And why are we so sensitive to how someone perceives us? All of that shit is gonna make you stutter worse because it adds tension to your body and makes you feel more stifled. It makes you talk on a fucking tightrope when it's a fucking dance floor out here. It's a fucking dance floor out here. We're not on this tightrope. And once we can be in a state of mind where we're not 
trying to navigate this world and please everyone and prove ourselves and prove to ourselves and prove to others we're just like them we're just normal we just speak a little slower once we're no longer trying to fucking prove that shit and we're just being us authentically and we're not sorry for that shit and we accept that and we fully embrace who we truly are that is overcoming your stutter and that's what i help people with and that will that's foundationally authentically overcoming your stutter if that makes sense to you and you're like that resonates with me i want to overcome my stutter the way chase overcame his stutter no speech techniques no ear devices by but by addressing the real root issues then you can look at the closest link down below in the description that says book your free one-on-one -on -one consultation call with me click that link fill in some information your your name your email your number and we can get in, we can get in contact we can hop on a call me and you we can talk one-on-one -on -one, see where you're at see where you're struggling and see if working with me would be a help for you and if we would be a, a good collaboration to make this journey of, of yours uh fulfilling authentic transformational journey to overcome your stutter just like it was for me and just like it, it is for all my clients right now who are work who are working with me as well so if you want to join the club click the close link down below or the family if you want to join the family click the close link down below in in the description book your free one-on-one -on -one call never procrastinate the time is now let's make a fucking change your future you will thank you for it i'll see you on the call i love you you can overcome your stutter just get out of your own way peace